we used to forgive loan indebtedness for those who went into a certain kind of public service. And that's why I say we have to have the kind of conversation about what do we think higher education is. And, and many people look to the universities, and so I will say universities have to operate as efficiently as they can and have to drive as many costs as they can out. And we do a lot of that at our university with core infrastructure, shared infrastructure, partnerships, et cetera, because we don't have the world's biggest endowment. And so we do a lot with the money we have. But in the end, we have to get back to what does higher education mean for us? And I don't think it's true of your daughter, but you know, many young graduates go out and they buy a car, although it's becoming less popular than it used to be. <laughs> Uber now. Um, because they can Uber everywhere. <laughs> And, and, and the cost for them of that is maybe not unlike the debt they end up with from college. So people have to think it through. And, and so I try to have a balanced point of view about the fact that I know what it costs to educate a young person. And even if we were paid the full ticket price, it's not enough to pay for what it costs us to educate the student. And so there always has to be an offset with philanthropy, with partnership, and, and with other things. And so we have to decide. Now there are those who believe that maybe we need to strip down the model of higher education and do less. And that's a discussion, that's a conversation we can have. But there's no denying that the higher education system we have has led us to have the strongest economy on earth.